whether it's concerns about chemicals or comfort, picking out the right bottle for your baby can be a tough decision for any parent. So the March issue of American Baby Magazine explains some of the basics when it comes to bottles. And joining us with the details is senior lifestyle editor Jessica Hartshorn. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. All right, so where do we start when picking out bottles? Right, because you go to that aisle and there's it's a ton giant. Of them. And there, we, there are so many different kinds of bottles right now. You have the BPA-free plastic, you have glass, now mm. there's stainless steel, there's round bottles, there's tall bottles with vents. It's enough to make your head spin, so what right. do you do? So you start off asking your friends or relatives, you know, your sister, what worked for your niece or nephew, um, and that is a great starting point, mm. personal recommendations. But here's what people forget, is that the person who picks the bottle is ultimately your baby. Sure. And you don't know what your baby's gonna want until you have your baby in your arms. So I suggest instead of buying like a, a huge kit of any one brand, get a few of a couple different brands and see what your baby prefers. And so after that, I guess you're gonna just have to test it out and see which one right. in you particular like works the little, best, right? Your own little test. Um, now, if the baby balks at the bottle, though, this is the thing, it might not necessarily be the bottle itself, it could be the nipple. They come in different speeds. Um, so if your baby is sucking and doesn't seem to be able to get any milk out, they might need like a faster flow nipple, or if um, milk is, fl this is what happened to my daughter, I was feeding her and milk was like going all over. <sighs> it was because it was, a, a, fast flow and she needed the slower flow newborn nipple so you got to play around with that if they're gassy you could try switching bottles to mm -hmm. one that says it prevents colic because there are some anti-colic bottles but you can also just make sure that you're lifting their head up above their tummy while you're feeding them sometimes that's the issue so if there are so many variables, how yeah. long should you test that one bottle before you give it up and say, you know what, this one isn't working? Right, I mean, I would go, you know, for a couple of days and, and really if it's not working, just, just move on. Okay. Um, and, and start with small sizes because newborns really only drink a little bit at a time and you don't want to force feed your baby and make them drink more than they seem to want. Mm -hmm. That sets up a bad uh, precedent for overeating. But um, on the other hand, they ramp up pretty quickly to drinking a lot of milk. Right. And uh, so one question we get all the time is, if they don't drink it all, do I have to throw it away? Yeah, exactly. Do you just restore? I mean, right. what do you do? It can, it can live at room temperature for about an hour. So if your baby's, you know, had most of it, you might just uh, leave it out for a little while, see if she'll take the rest later on. But after about that hour, you do have to dump it. So that's why you don't want to make more than you think your baby's going to So is drink. that true for both formula and, and breast, breast milk? milk. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just about an hour at room temperature. Right, and there's a lot of, um, of uh, pumping moms who go back to work and have that breast milk stored at home, and so you have to really follow the storage guidelines. And that's something else to think about when you're buying bottles is that the bottle that goes with the brand of best breast pump you have is going to be important. Okay, and uh, we've all heard this uh, at some point that uh, babies sucking on bottles for too long can be bad for their teeth. Is that right. true? You know, it's, it's the milk or the juice in the bottle um, washing around the teeth that can become the problem, especially when they're older, like 9, 10, 11, months old, they like to carry that bottle around mm -hmm. and they're just sipping from it all day. And that's just sugar washing on their teeth all day. And, and that's why we're seeing so many cavities, really an unprecedented number of cavities in like preschool age kids. So the advice is to wean them to water in the bottle and then eventually, um, not, no, of course they still have to drink milk, but you know, if they're gonna walk around with it, it shouldn't right. be milk or juice all the time. And uh, to actually get them off the bottle around their first birthday, definitely by about 15 months, onto a sippy cup, and then a, a big kid cup as soon as you can. All right, you guys. Yeah. Push them along as fast as you can <laughs> before you know they're going to be a teenager. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, Jessica Hartshorn, thanks so much for your insight. We Thank appreciate you, buddy. it.